Did you know that a uh, seasoned investor claimed that Tesla represents a once in a generation opportunity to buy at this price? This may sound cliche now that so many well-known people have said it. Uh, it can even seem like a gimmick to get people to buy Tesla shares. Continue to watch and listen to see what Baron has to say about this. Uh, the largest investors are split between supporters and detractors of Tesla, the brand name for the top electric vehicle manufacturer. <sighs> Renowned investor Ron Barron is well known for being a Tesla bull. You'll learn why Ron Barron claimed that this is a once in a generation opportunity to acquire Tesla stock at this price in today's video. May saw the greatest annualized rate of inflation in almost 40 years at 8.6%. The Federal Reserve raised its benchmark interest rate by 75 basis points as a result, marking the biggest increase since 1994. Economists are predicting a repeat of the late 1970s and early 1980s when comparable inflation and high interest rates caused market weakness and a severe recession. The combination of high inflation and aggressive tightening action by the central bank since an already tense stock market to its worst single week since the start of the COVID crisis. Experts have been alerting the public about the possibility of inflation and a worldwide recession. For investors with longer time horizons, the situation might not be as dire. All prices have decreased as a result of the general market downturn, which may present possibilities to purchase premium brands in depreciating industries. The legendary billionaire investor, um, Baron of Baron Capital, believes that there is a tremendous once-in-a-generation purchasing opportunity in the current market. Delivering Alpha. Uh, stated on Twitter, as stocks fall into a bear market, Ron Barron says this is a once in a generation buying opportunity. The CEO and founder of Barron Capital stated in an email to SEMBC, this is a huge once in a generation buying opportunity. Uh, the latest sell off in the major US market indices, which has brought this D 500 to its lowest point since late 2020, according to billionaire investor Ron Barron, offers a significant buying opportunity. He claimed that there may be a tremendous chance for Americans as a result of the recent stock market collapse. Long-term economic analysis led Barron to draw comparisons between the current state of affairs in his early career, which began in 1982, with the founding of Barron Capital. He pointed out that another period when markets collapsed occurred in the early 1980s, following an assertive Federal Reserve that was attempting to rein in inflation. He revealed that his two sons who are now investors as well, have the same opportunity he had when he established Barron Capital, an investment management company based in New York City that is well known for its long-term investment approaches. As is per the financial content site, Seeking Alpha, the most recent fair market began on February 19, 2020 and ended on March 23. Less than one month later, it was primarily caused by the impact of COVID-19. Uh, the Dow Jones Industrial fell to 880 in 1982. During a bear market, Wall Street uses the term bear market for when the stock market drops by at least 20% for an extended period and typically indicates an economic slump. The stock market recovered later that year and proceeded to rise throughout 2021, making that bear market the shortest the economy has ever seen at 33 days. The well-known investor contended that the economy of today is supported by a robust technological foundation that has been developed over the last several decades, indicating tremendous upside potential over the long run. If you haven't already, uh, would you purchase Tesla stock? Post your ideas in the space provided for comments below. Barron cited well-known brands like Tesla's illustrations of the kinds of businesses that might spearhead the upcoming technological revolution. Uh, the remarks made by the fund manager came after another significant sell-off on Wall Street. The Nasdaq fell more than 4% and the C500 fell more than 3% on Thursday due to investor concerns that the Fed's rate hiking strategy will eventually lead to a recession for the first time since December 2020. The 500 closed below 3,700 in 2022, a decline of more than 23%. Barron may be long-term bullish, but there has been increased anxiety recently about a near-term recession. In general, we're still optimistic. Short-term Macro factors such as inflation, oil prices, interest rates, and the conflict between Russia and Ukraine are generally not given much thought. We always have inflation, even if most people don't talk about it. Over the course of my life, inflation has averaged between 4 and 5% annually. That translates to around doubling every 15 or 20 years, approximately every 10 to 12 years, or 7 to 8% annually. The stock market doubles, according to Barron. 
interestingly, Barron's prediction focuses more on long-term investments than day trading and echoes a lot of the investor's recommendations regarding the financial advantages of tracking compound interest accumulation. Finding stocks that are poised to rise once the bear market has run its course, even if they are currently down, then becomes crucial for investors. Chief Investment Officer of Defiance ETF, Sylvia Jablonski, agrees with Barron. After hearing that inflation had hit a 40-year high, uh, she claimed to feel more upbeat. This is a fantastic chance for future generations. When you look back on this, it's going to be noise. Jablonski said on CNBC Squawk. Fuck. However... She cautions that investors can expect range-bound volatility in the near future, making the next few months challenging. It hurts. We have to endure it, even though it feels awful. She remarked, uh, how can one make money in the stock market? One may wonder, for almost a century, stock markets have generated wealth for investors. 50 years ago, $10,000 invested in the stock market could have yielded a portfolio valued at hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of dollars today. Between 1957 and 2021, Equities returned 10.5% annually on average. This 10.5% yearly growth rate is known as the compound annual growth rate or CAGR, even though capital appreciation can vary significantly throughout companies. There are various ways to invest in the stock market, even though it has historically been one of the best ways to increase wealth. Generally speaking, investors have two options for making money in the market. First, you should purchase and hold. Historically, the purchase and hold strategy has led to the capital invested growing exponentially. By using this method, investors can profit from both income and capital appreciation. Duh, the difference between a stock or mutual funds market price and acquisition cost is known as capital appreciation. Until the trade has realized capital appreciation is not subject to taxes. After that, it is known as capital gains. Conversely, dividends represent yet another important means by which stockholders are compensated for their purchases and holdings. Dividends are recurring sums of money that businesses give to their shareholders. Where the business makes money, it retains the majority of its profits as retained earnings and distributes the remainder to shareholders in the form of dividends. Apart from the buy and hold approach, investors can profit from trading stocks by utilizing leverage and additional instruments like futures and options. Leveraging their portfolios allows investors to significantly boost trade returns by utilizing leverage, investors are effectively taking out loans to boost their capital profits. Futures are agreements to purchase or sell a predetermined amount of underlying stock at a future date for a predetermined price. Options are a great way to potentially reduce downside and risk because unlike futures where both parties to the contract are required to buy or sell the stock, options give the contract holder the right but not the obligation to buy or sell the underlying share. However, investing entails danger all by itself. There are limitless opportunities, even while there can be innumerable unanticipated threats. It is crucial to remember that you should take your time and thoroughly research the companies you are interested in before making an investment. Um, short selling is another well-liked financial strategy that traders and hedge funds employ to sell shares they do not own. Short sellers of uh, stocks do so with the expectation that future stock prices would decline. Consequently, they would borrow the stock from brokers and sell it today in order to purchase it back later at a reduced price. An investor will profit if the stock price drops in the future, since they will be able to keep the difference between the purchase and sale prices. There are potential and hazards associated with Tesla too. Check out our other videos on our channel for more information about Tesla stock.